28 FBI agents with knowledge of the Clinton server asked to testify against deep state corruption. House Republicans are set to interview three witnesses in early June regarding the sham Hillary Clinton email investigation. Now, according to The Hill, Bill uh, Prystap, the Assistant Director of the FBI's Counterintelligence Division, and Michael Steinbach, the former head of the FBI's National Security Division, will testify shortly after the release of the IG report. Now, Bill Prystap was the FBI official who changed the wording in the James Comey, uh, in the James Comey July 2016 speech to remove the word president and replace it with another senior government official to hide this fact from the American public. Now, the third witness is John uh, Gia Colon, who preceded Seinbach as the Bureau's top national security official and oversaw the first seven months of the Clinton probe. Now, the word is that uh, Gia Colon quit the FBI in protest over the higher-ups were killing the investigation. Oh, over how the higher-ups were killing the investigation, sorry. Now, Gia Colon resigned from the Hillary Clinton case and retired from the FBI because he felt that the case was going sideways. That's the law enforcement jargon for nowhere by design. Now, uh, uh, a tweet came out from uh, Drawing draw and strike backup account that says not sure what price strap and Steinbeck had to do with the Clinton email investigation but these guys would be intimate uh, intimately involved in any counterintelligence investigation of the Trump campaign during the 2016 election and on Friday Sean Hannity told his audience that 28 FBI agents have also been asked to testify against the corrupt deep state he says we have an IG report coming out, and I'm told as many as 28 people that have knowledge of the Clinton email server want to be want to be subpoenaed so that they can tell the story of corruption at the highest levels of the bureau at that love level. We'll follow the bouncing ball here. Something the media can't do. All right, we have more breaking news tonight. Her brand new column, her brand new report. Investigative reporter, Fox News contributor Sarah Carter. Sarah, let's get into yours. Uh, and it's very clear. It's you know this is a big story also, and you're also corroborating and confirming a lot of John's story. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I think what we see before the FBI actually opened its official investigation, it was a counterintelligence investigation, which means they were gathering as much information as possible from everywhere. And, and they could. They actually, and, and I'm not talking about just the Bureau, I'm talking about other intelligence agencies, foreign intelligence, the Great Britain, Germany, Estonia, Poland. Uh, now, we're a member of the Five Eyes, and that doesn't include Germany, Explain Estonia, and Poland. Explain the Five Poland. Eyes. Okay, that's Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the United States, and Great Britain. And we share information with one another. That means if we have information that's pertinent to the U.S., we share it. Remember with uh, Alexander Downer, the ambassador who shared the information uh, with the United States on his conversation with Papadopoulos. By the way, we got to remind people, Downer donated $25 million to the Clinton Foundation, okay? Absolutely, he, absolutely. And John... And remember, before the FBI interviewed him, the State Department had to get involved. That would mean John Kerry knows about this, too. And that goes back to John's report. It goes to the White House. Now it goes also to the Secretary of State's office. Well, we have to ask ourselves, Sean, what information are we trading back and forth? And this also would mean that Brennan, who was head of the CIA, DNI Clapper, uh, you know, director of national intelligence, would be well aware of this because this is a counterintelligence investigation involving something very specific, involving the Trump campaign, Trump campaign members. And that's very important. That doesn't mean that this would just be at a lower level. This would be at a higher level, a principal level, which means that Brennan was very well aware of what was going on. And what I'd like to know is, did the British share the information with us first on some of these players, or did we ask for specific information? But this is important. How was the that, exchange? Yep, yeah, uh, and this is important, because all these foreign players are involved. The timeline is way off than the story, that the narrative that they've been saying. That means people have been lying dramatically here. And then we got an IG report coming out, and I'm told as many as 28 people that have knowledge of the Clinton email server scandal, 28 of them, FBI people, want to be subpoenaed so they can tell the story about corruption at the highest levels of the bureau that they love. Absolutely. There's a lot of FBI agents that want to come out and speak. A lot of them are current agents, which makes it very difficult for them. So they need to be subpoenaed. So these are things that Congress needs to act on, Congress needs to do so that they can come out and tell their stories.
Unbelievable reporting. Thank you, Sarah Carter. You just keep breaking story after story. We're going to stay on this. This is getting interesting when we come back. All right, so if you'd like to support the channel, do so by clicking the links in the description below. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. And be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below as well. And tell me how you feel about this report. Let's make America great again. I appreciate every single one of you. Peace.